Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing my monthly speed reviews video. I don't have a ton to review today, although I'm sure I'll find a way to make this a long one. <laughs> um, but I have been sort of focusing on, you know, just the products that I already know and love, the products that are in my shop, my stash, the products that are in my project pan. Um, but I did have a few that I wanted to speak about today. So let's dive straight in and talk about the products I've been trying out lately. So first off, I know a lot of you were waiting to hear my thoughts on this product here. So this is the Isle of Paradise Body High Glow Self Tan Serum. So I purchased this through BoxyCharm Pop-Up. Um, so they had a really great sale. I think I got it for around $9 and I'm really loving this. I really like this a lot. I had low expectations because I just don't love most tanning products, but this one is more of a serum and it is like a gradual tan. So it's not like your typical, like full on self tanners where you put it on and immediately you're super dark. Um, and that's usually where I run into problems. I'm pretty fair skinned. I do have some like eczema and dry patches on my body that sometimes cause some problems when it comes to self tanners. Um, but this one is working out really, really well. So it is, uh, like a hyaluronic acid based serum and it is a little bit thicker than what I was expecting. I don't know if you guys can tell based on the little drops. It's not a water consistency for sure. It's definitely more of a sort of jelly serum consistency. Um, it smells really nice. It doesn't have that weird tanning scent to it. It doesn't leave your body smelling weird. And because it's like a gradual self tan serum, you don't have, there's no color guard or anything like that. So you don't have to worry about like staining your sheets, staining your clothes, anything like that. So I've been sort of using this to like even out my tan. I kind of get, I haven't had a lot of time to like lay out and get a tan though we know that's not something we should be doing, but I do love the sun. Um, so I kind of have some weird tan lines and like the front half of my body is a lot more tanned than like the back half of my body. So I've been kind of using this to even things out and I think it's been doing a really nice job. Um, so you just go in with the dropper and I'll sort of do, let's say like four to six drops on my arm, rub it in, do the same thing over here, rub it in. And, you know, even trying to do like my back where I can't really reach that well, I haven't noticed any like streaky parts or anything like that. It all just seems to sort of blend really nicely together. It's also really hydrating. I mentioned that it has the hyaluronic acid in there. It also has like coconut oil and a bunch of different um, like hydrating oils in there. So if you were on the fence about something like this, I would say it's worth a try if you like more of a gradual tan. I'm really enjoying this a lot. I don't know how long it's gonna last, but I think I'm only to about here and I've used it several times. So I think it's gonna last for a good long while. I do believe you can purchase this through Sephora. I'll link whatever I can in the description box down below as always. So I've got a few products in here that I had gotten in that boxy pop-up sale. Um, the next one was this eye cream. So this is the Skin Fix Barrier Plus Lipid Boost 360 Eye Healthy Eye Treatment. So this is basically just a really hydrating eye cream and I like this just fine. I like it just as well as the eye cream I was using previous to this one, which was the Indeed Labs one. Um, love that it's cruelty free. Got it for a great price. Got it definitely for under $10, which is fabulous for an eye cream. I think it's going to last a long time. I like that it has the little pump on it. I do find it's easy to use too much with this. Um, just the teeny tiniest amount is all that you need. Otherwise, you're just kind of smearing it around forever. Um, so again, for that reason, I think it's going to last forever. Um, my husband's been using it as well. He really likes it. He has very sensitive eyes. It hasn't been bothering his like eye area or anything like that. So I think this is a really nice product. Again, I think that you can purchase this at Sephora. I think it's also still available through the boxy pop-up sales. So if you're a member of BoxyCharm or you're subscribed to BoxyCharm, you may be able to get this for a really good price still. And then the last thing that I had gotten that I'm in that boxy pop-up sale that I'm going to review today is this highlighter. So this is the Wander Beauty Catch the Light Highlighter and Glow Glotion. <laughs> a hard time with that word for some reason. Um, and this is in my current Shop My Stash. So I had done a summer 
shop my stash. I'll link that video in the description box down below if you're interested. Um, but I'm really loving this. I have been sort of in the market for a, like a liquid highlight or a cream highlight. It was the only cream product that I really didn't have for like cheek products. And I really like this a lot. So it has sort of two sides. So you've got this part here, which is like your cream highlight like that it's like a really nice perfect for my skin tone I have the shade celestial so it's kind of like a champagne color it almost has a little bit of a peachy pink quality to it so very flattering on my skin tone and then and then you can open it up this way and you've got like a liquid this is the glotion portion so you can use this on your face you can also use it on your body it looks like this really really pretty we could put a little on our shoulders you know i don't know why i didn't do this before we filmed like that looks so pretty let's do the other side really nice for like the shoulders the uh collarbone area don't want to have a little breakout on my shoulder there don't mind that um you know so these products are really nice to use on the body as well as on the face um, so I've been kind of using this Glotion portion like I just did on my shoulders and my collarbone area. And then I've been using more of the cream portion that's kind of in that stick format as like a highlight on my face when I'm using all my cream products. I have powder products on today because I've been working a long day. Um, so I'm really liking this. So if you've been looking for a good cream highlight that's not going to pick up the foundation underneath. This doesn't do that. It lays really nicely over top. It lasts really well. I don't find, because it's such a nice sort of smooth texture, you see how smooth that is? It really doesn't enhance any texture that I have here on my face. I am in my mid-30s, so I have some, you know, crow's feet going on and stuff there. So sometimes um, like a more glittery highlight will enhance some of that texture. And I don't find that with this. It's just really soft and beautiful. You can sort of diffuse it out to have a really nice light, um, natural looking glow, or you can really build it up and get like a beaming glow out of it. So I'm really, really loving this. Definitely recommend it if you were looking at this product. So far, there's nothing I've tried from Wander Beauty that I haven't liked. Next up, I have a mask. I don't think that I have reviewed this on this channel, but I have been using it sort of on and off for a while. So this is the Frank Body Glow Mask, um, and this is like a caffeinated mask. So I really love this. If you're looking for a really nice hydrating mask, I think this is a really nice option. It has some really nice hydrating ingredients, some nice humectants in there. It's got the glycerin, it's got coconut oil, it's got a little bit of clay, a little bit of shea butter. Um, it sort of does a little bit of everything. So it says on here uh, for bouncy skin and it's got coffee, the shea butter and goji berry are sort of the call out ingredients that they feature here on the bottle. And it's just got like a really nice sort of creamy texture. As you can see, that's it right there. So you can really kind of layer it on or not, like depending on how thick of a layer you want to do. It smells really nice. I really feel like I can smell the shea butter in there. Um, there is a little bit of fragrance, but it's way down in the bottom of the ingredient list and it hasn't irritated my skin at all. I've actually used this on a couple of clients that are really, really dehydrated um, and it, their skin was really glowy afterwards. So I, I usually use more of a gel mask when I'm doing facials, but I have a couple of clients that it's like the gel mask isn't quite enough. Your skin just like sucks it right in. Um, so something like this, that's more of a cream, texture um, is going to sort of stay on the skin a little bit better than like a gel textured mask. So I'm really, really loving this. Got it through a boxy charm. I'll see if I can link this down below. I'm not sure where you can purchase this, but so far I've been really loving all the products I've tried from Frank Body. I know they're really well known for like their coffee scrub and stuff like that, but I think this is a really nice product. It's lasting a really long time and I'm really enjoying it. And I'm not usually one for like a hydrating mask necessarily. I do have an oily combo skin. So I usually like something that's either um, exfoliating or maybe a little bit more of a clay mask um, or more of the gel textured mask for hydration. I don't usually love something creamy like this. So I was quite surprised by how much I like this. Lastly, for skincare, I've been trying out this facial oil. So this is the Earth Harbor Helios Anti-Pollution Youth Ampule. I got this in a boxy charm, and I think this is supposed, well, it says right on it, it's supposed to be anti-pollution. I don't really know 
what that's doing for me necessarily in terms of anti-pollution. However, I think this is a really nice facial oil. I've really been enjoying it. I don't find it to be too heavy or too greasy. I do only use facial oils at nighttime because I have more of an oily combo skin type. I could never use something like this during the day. I would just be so shiny. Um, but I really love to seal in my nighttime skincare with a facial oil. I had been using the Garnier one for a very long time. Um, so when I finished that one up, I pulled this one out and I really love it. I love the packaging. That's not the color of the oil. That's the color of the bottle. I just think it's so pretty. And again, it just feels really nice. I don't necessarily notice that it's doing anything special for my skin. As I said, in terms of anti-pollution, I don't find a big difference between this and any other facial oil that I've tried, um, but I am really enjoying it. Now let's dive into a little bit of makeup and let's start with this mascara. So this is the CoverGirl Lash Blast Active Mascara. So I have raved about the CoverGirl mascaras over the years on this channel. You guys know that I love the Exhibitionist. I've also really been loving the Lash Blast Clean, the one in the mint colored tube. Um, and because I liked that one so much, I was intrigued by this one. So this is the active formula. So it's not waterproof, but it's meant to be long wearing and smudge proof. It's not. <laughs> it's not really smudge proof. I find I get better longevity out of the Lash Blast Clean and out of the Exhibitionist. This one I do find I'm having more transfer underneath the eyes than what I do with those other formulas. And I've also noticed I've been getting a little bit of transfer up here, which I don't normally struggle with. So really not loving this one. The other thing that I don't love about this one is the wand. It's got a unique shape to it. It is one of those rubbery wands, which isn't usually my preference but it's like flatter on one side I don't know if you guys can see that it's like flat on one side and like almost like a comb on the other I don't know if this will help it doesn't yeah you can see how flat it is and then I can turn it okay so the problem with that is like as you I seem to be able to do it really well with my dominant hand to get that comb really into my lashes but then when I come over here <laughs> I always, I have to keep turning it to get the comb. Otherwise I'm like hitting my lashes with that flat piece and then my lashes are all gunked together. So I find I'm having a really hard time getting the separation of the lashes with this mascara. I like volume, but I also like to look like I have more than three eyelashes, you know, and I'm really struggling with that. And I've been trying it out for a while cause I was like, you know, maybe it'll get better with time. You know how some mascaras need to like season a little bit. Um, because I also find it doesn't give a ton of volume, you know, even when I go in with a second layer, you know, I can get a little bit of a build on it. And then if I go in with a third layer, it's just a mess. All my lashes are clumped together and I get a ton of transfer underneath and up here. So I really don't recommend this one. I think the Lash Blast Clean, if you like that more rubbery wand, I would go with that one, not this one. Um, there is one more I'd like to try from them and it's the Clump Crusher. I'm pretty sure I tried that like in high school. I just can't remember if I loved it or not. Um, but I think I'll probably just go back to either the Exhibitionist or the Clean Mascara. I'm like really not loving this. I'm going to use it up just because like it's fine. And it's probably only good for another month or so. And then I'll just kind of move on back to the old faithfuls. So if you were looking at this one, I would say skip over it and go with one of the others. Okay, so I've got a couple of palettes and a liquid shadow to talk about. So let's talk about the liquid shadow. So my friend Kate got me this. Well, she got it in a boxy charm and gave it to me. Uh, so this is the Ciate London Shadow Flip. So these are multi-chromatic shifting liquid eyeshadows. Okay. So look at the bottle. It looks like it's purple and it's going to shift to green or something, right? I just don't find that it does, you know? I really don't. So I'll show you guys a little swatch. That was a weird place to put it. So it's purple, right? We're shifting. Maybe there's like a hint of green if you turn it the right way, but it's almost like a muddy kind of a shift. Um, so I did put it on my eyes today over top of like a purpley kind of eyeshadow. And I really find, I mean, I think it's really beautiful. I'm going to wear it, but I'm going to wear it as like a purple liquid shadow. I really don't see much like multi-chrome action going on. Correct me if I'm wrong. Maybe I'm not seeing it. Maybe I'm being nitpicky. I just don't know. But I think I was just expecting more, you know, it's hard to get that 
like duochrome or multi-chrome shift but when you market it like that's what this is I just expected more, you know? So let me know if you guys are seeing something I'm not seeing. Maybe in these lights, you guys will be able to see it better than I can on my own eye, but I don't know. Do you guys have these? Did you get one of these in a boxy charm? Did you get, maybe the other colors are better? Like you can get a little bit of a shift. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about that one. I do like it. I think it dried down really nicely. Like I didn't have to wait too long or anything like that in that way and I do like a liquid shadow so I'm definitely going to use it. I'm just curious if anybody else found it didn't have as much of a flip as what you were expecting. And then I've got two eyeshadow palettes here that I want to talk about. So this one here Kate gave to me as well. She got it in a boxy charm. She wears mostly neutrals so she was like please take these. Um, so this is the Eloise the Queen palette. It says a queen lies in all of us. I don't know why I always keep these cardboard unicartons on things. Um, so this is what it looks like here. It's a really fun, beautiful, colorful palette. So I really like the mattes in this palette. The, sh the shimmers, the shimmers are that same kind of formula that we had in like the Cab Cosmetics palette to where I want to use my finger, but when I use my finger, it doesn't give me the look that I'm looking for. So if you got this palette, I would say, like I said, the mattes are beautiful. They blend beautifully. I've got I think this color on sort of my outer corner today. Um, and I wore in my last video, I don't know if you've seen that one yet. I don't know the order that things are going out, but I have a video about pedicures coming out or is already out. And I had sort of these two colors on. I am really liking the palette, but I think the shimmers need to be used with a brush a wet brush is best. So that's my advice on this one. It's fine. I really like the colors in it. I'll definitely get use out of it, but it's definitely not the best formula I've ever tried. And then lastly, I have this palette here. So this is also in my Shop My Stash for Summer. So this is the Ace Beauté Nostalgia palette. And this one is really good. Now, I really love the Ace Beauté um, eyeshadow formula. I have quite a few palettes from them and I love all of them. So this one is, again, another sort of rainbow palette. So we had gotten this in a boxy charm, I think back in the spring, and I just kind of tucked it away because I wasn't really ready for these colors yet. Um, but now that the summer is here, I'm using it and I'm loving it. So the shimmers in this one, the mattes are beautiful. They blend beautifully. They're very buttery. I have this color kind of all in my crease today, this one here, and I deepened my outer corner a little bit with this one as well. Um, but the shimmers in this one you can just use with your fingers, sort of the way that I normally would use shimmers. Um, yesterday I had on these two colors. It was a whole like tangerine moment. It was so pretty and so easy and simple because I could just tap in and tap on. Very, very easy to use. I think this is a really beautiful palette. I do believe this is still available through BoxyCharm. So, so if you were looking for like a really beautiful, really um, easy to work with, colorful eyeshadow palette, I think this is a really nice option. It's got a lot of great colors in there. Lots of warm colors, but also lots of nice cool colors and jewel tones and stuff like that. Lots of different looks that you could create with this. And there's not a ton of shimmers, but the shimmers that are in there, I think are like perfect for what you've got here in terms of a color story. So the only shimmers, I'm trying to blind you guys with that mirror. Um, the only shimmers are this one, this one, and this one. The rest are matte, which I kind of appreciate. Um, a lot of times it's kind of half and half or you'll get a lot of shimmers and just a couple of mattes. I would rather more mattes when it comes to a colorful palette because I can always go over top with something like this, one of my other liquid shadows, um, a ColourPop Super Shock shadow, something like that. But I think you can really build a fun rainbow look with all these great, easy to work with, mattes. So those are all the products I have to talk to you guys about today. Um, not a ton, but I still ended up making this like a decently long video. So some things never change. I hope you guys like this video. Let me know if you've tried any of these products, what your thoughts are on them, or if these were any products that you kind of had your eye on. I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. Um, and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe and I'll see you guys soon in another video. Bye.